The Electroharmonics Hog is a polyphonic guitar synthesizer. It features an array of 16 sliders that give you control over the Hog's 10 independent synth voices, as well as straight guitar, attack, decay, the filter section, and more. And when you combine that with the Hog's expression section, which offers seven different modes, including octave bend, whole step bend, you can introduce portamento, there's a wah-wah pedal. You can even do filter sweeps in real time. When you combine those things, you wind up with a product that, though it's very compact, is very, very powerful. Here's a bass sound using a voice that's an octave below the guitar's pitch. And I'm going to use the expression pedal to do a whole step bend down. This voice, or this sound, uses a voice that's an octave above the guitar's pitch. And I'm going to use some attack decay, along with some resonance from the filter and the expression pedal to create a sound like a bowed instrument. Here's a sound based on a voice that's three octaves above the guitar's pitch. It's amazing how well the hog tracks. It tracks basically everything or anything you can do. One of the cool things about it is that you can combine the synthesized voices with a straight guitar signal. Here's an example of that. I'm going to combine dry output with a voice that's a fifth above the guitar's pitch. And I'm going to do an octave bend on that voice. Sounds like this. Here's another example of combining straight guitar sound with one of the synth voices. In this case, it's a voice that's um, two octaves above. And I'm going to add portamento. That's done through the filter, or through the expression mode, in what's called freeze glissando. And if I press the pedal down about halfway, it gives me portamento. Portamento is a synthesizer term. What it means is, if you play a note and move to another one, or a chord and move to another one, the sound glides up or down to the new pitch. This, to me, sounds like somebody whistling along with what I'm playing on the guitar. Here's another sound that uses that portamento effect. You know, because the hog has so many different voices, you can layer them to create really interesting harmonies. This is a sound that uses a voice two octaves below, a voice one octave below, and a voice a fifth above what I'm playing on the guitar. 
has a very orchestral sound to it. With 10 different voices, it's possible to really layer sounds and create deep, rich, lush guitar sounds. Um, this sound here is a combination of straight guitar with some one, two, and three octave above. To me, it sounds like a combination between an organ and a 24 string guitar. See what I mean? Add some step bend. One of the things that the hog does incredibly well is to create organ sounds. And uh, this one uses a combination of voices, both above and below the pitch of the guitar. Check it out. One of the cool things about the hog is that you can take a synth patch like that, synth sound, go into the expression mode, which is freeze volume, use the expression pedal, and sustain that synth sound while you play over it with your guitar. It works like this. Well, as you can see in here, the hog is capable of an incredible array of different sounds, and I've just scratched the surface. One of the things about it is that every time you sit down with it, you discover something new. And of course, if you use the hog with other electroharmonics products, you also open up this incredible universe of new sound possibilities. Let me just leave you with one of those, and it just uses a, one of the synth patches on the hog with um, the electroharmonics number one echo.